Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create this cool chalk or pencil outline effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first thing we're going to do is just start with our original layer. And I actually came up with this effect idea based on this concept of duplicating layers and blending modes and, and adding layers on stacking effects on top of each other. So to do this, I'm going to hold Option, click and drag this clip on top of itself. and on the top clip, we're going to apply a find edges effect. So in the effects panel, let's search for find edges. That's in the stylized video effects folder. And I'm actually going to invert this effect so that we just get this edge outline that's going on. As a, an additional touch, you can make this black and white. So I'll just add a black and white video effect, or you could go into the Lumetri color panel, turn the saturation all the way down. And while you're in the Lumetri color panel, you can also open up the basic correction section and you can increase the exposure or contrast if you just want to not necessarily increase, but adjust these settings just so you have a main outline. For example, in this case, I can actually add a vignette around the edges just so I really focus in on the center of the frame where my subject will be. It might be different for your image, but playing around with these settings can help you get a more solid chalk outline. Optional though. Now, what we can do since we have this outline on top of the original clip is apply it on a blending mode. So this is a cool technique for lots of effects. And if I just apply it on screen, you'll notice that it does add this outline, but it looks kind of weird. And the way to get the cool outline effect going on is to offset the video a little bit. So one way you could do this is just move the video frame a little bit forward. So now the outline clip will be playing. That's too much. Let's just move it literally just a few frames. So now the outline clip is playing a little bit out of touch with the original clip. But what I did for the original example actually is, I mean, that looks pretty cool itself. But uh, one, one thing I did was play around with the strobe effect. So I'll go to the effects panel, search for strobe light, and I will add that onto this top clip. And this was my original idea for making a video was how that you can make any effect blink using this duplicate layer and strobe effect technique. So in this strobe light, I'll just make layer transparent and you can adjust the strobe duration and period. So if I want it to blink on for 0.2 seconds, every 0.4 seconds, I can set those numbers. And this is what that'll look like if I just hide the other layer. And when I add the other layer underneath, this is what they look like on top of each other. And I guess you can use that technique I just used, offsetting it forward just a couple frames. See what looks good for how much movement is going on in your video and you get that blinking effect going on. But what I did, which was pretty cool, is add a posterized time effect. So I'll add a posterized time effect only on the top layer. So what this will do is make it so we're sort of getting a stop motion feel. So just to show you, I'm gonna hide everything in the effects control panel. This is the posterized time effect. Right now it's simulating a 24 frame per second rate. But if I lower that down to like four frames per second, this is what that's going to look like. It might look like it's lagging, but it's not. It's just only showing you four frames per second. And that's how we can get this cool stamped outline flash going on is using the posterized time effect. And then when I turn all these other effects back on, like the black and white and the strobe light, there's different ideas you could do with it. And let's not forget that I can add effects onto the original clip. There's no reason I can't. So if I wanted to add a little bit of blur or something on the original clip, maybe to play around with that sharp outline with a blurry underneath, this is what that might look like. So just ideas that I'm coming up with on the fly here, but within a couple seconds of a music video, this could be a cool style. Or once I add an adjustment layer, let's say on top of all of this, so file, new adjustment layer. And on top of all of this, I could add 
some sort of final color grading. So go to Lumetri color. So I could add some kind of LUT or look on top of all of this. So these are really just a combination of some advanced effects ideas. And this just happens to be one example result, but there's no reason you can't take all of these ideas I've just shown you and try them out with different sort of effects and also add keyframes and animations on top. So if you want more ideas like that, you can check out my channel for more and subscribe to stay tuned for new videos. And if you want to check out some effect presets that I've made and I have for sale on my website, you can head over to justinodishow.com slash shop, where I do have a few Premiere Pro effect presets, LUTs, and other sort of overlays available. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.